I would like to start this short interview today by welcoming the 2021 Avrion Mitchison Award winner, Denise Beckman, from the Institute of Musculoskeletal Medicine at the University Hospital Munster. Denise did her PhD in the group of Thomas Papp in Munster, followed by a postdoc at the University of San Diego, and has recently returned to Munster, where she's starting to build her own research group. Congratulations, Denise, and thanks for joining us today. Thank you so much. For those who aren't familiar with this award, the Avram Mitchison Prize is awarded annually by the DRFZ in honour of its founding director to early career researchers who have significantly contributed to understanding and treating rheumatic diseases. Denise, you are being awarded the prize based on your project investigating the role of fibroblast-like synovial sites in rheumatoid arthritis. Can you explain a little bit about what these cells are and why you're interested in studying them in the context of rheumatoid arthritis? So, sure, the mechanism for the development of rheumatoid arthritis are not fully understand right now, but what's known is that cartilage damage leads to the release of matrix products. Along with the activation of the immune system, fibroblast like synovial sites are getting stable activated, can then attach to the surface and undergo a tumor-like transformation. This phenotype is characterized by repeat growth and the resistance against apoptosis. And the expression of a tissue molecule leads to, on one hand, to an increased migration and proliferation rate, and on the other hand, to the secretion of MMPs and osteoclast formation which results in the destruction of the cartilage and the bone. So in my opinion, fibroblast like synovial sites are the key players in the development of rheumatoid arthritis. You've also shown that a molecule called LASP1 expressed in fibroblast like synovial sites might be especially important in rheumatoid arthritis. Why do you think this molecule could have some therapeutic potential for treating RA patients? The adhesion protein last one is in the literature known with tumor genesis and associated with cancer cell migration, invasion, and proliferation. In our study, we were able to show that the blockade or the absence of these adhesion molecule results in the significant altered cellular interaction and could reduce the fibroblast tumor-like migration and invasion capacity. Furthermore, the loss of last one leads to reduced clinical symptoms and the extent of cartilage and bone destruction. Overall, our data suggest that last one may represent a potential therapeutic target for the treatment of patients with rheumatoid arthritis. Thanks so much, Denise, for taking the time to discuss your project with us today. It's a great story with relevance to everyone working here at the DRFZ as well as patients suffering from rheumatic diseases. We're really looking forward to your presentation at the award ceremony on the 7th of December. Thank you again, and I'm looking forward to see you all in Berlin.